Hello YouTube, welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Hello, yeah, it's Chu here. Yeah. Hello, and if you're new to the channel, we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food at home, as well as branching out into Malaysian Chinese street food, which our family have done for literally generations and generations and generations. It's within our blood, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. Yeah. But also takeaways as well. But I mean, we go way further back with the, the street food cooking. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, today, what are we doing? We're doing a mushroom chow mein. We are doing a mushroom chow mein. It's yes. not in the cookbook. This cookbook is available only from our website. Before you had to click load more, now it's just scroll down. I managed to change the, the settings so you can just scroll down and it's at the bottom. I can't shift or change the positions and wicks. We're getting a new site built and it should be done by the end of February. So, fingers crossed, it's taken forever, but it is like there is a massive amount of work going into that website because it not only needs to link with everything, it also is gonna have membership access and stuff like that. So uh, Patreon will bit then no longer be a thing and we can offer more because Patreon in all honesty is terrible. We don't get notifications and stuff. So through our website, we'll be able to keep on top of perks and everything like that. So yeah, yeah so we're really looking forward to that. Also cookbook. <laughs> this is one of the most asked for dishes and a takeaway. Oh well, I say that, top 10. Vegetarians always have it and it's quite a popular side dish. Yes. People for some reason like it as a side dish. So this is what we're going to do for you today, right? Yeah, we're going to do mushroom chow mein today. Yeah. Also we'll be using this wok again from Miko Lifestyle. The link is below if you'd like to purchase one of these. There, it is fantastic. We'll be doing a couple of videos using this wok and on an induction hob, but it's a specific wok induction hob, but it does work on an actual induction hob. It's just not as good. You need to buy one of those like ring things so it will yes. sit, but it does work because it's ferrous. Handmade. Yeah, it's really heavy. Really heavy, isn't it? Yes. But awesome. Oh, nearly oh. dropped it on my foot. <laughs> that would have been painful. <laughs> I'd have had no foot. Um, so yeah. We're testing out this one today. We've tested that out already. I don't know why mum said that. Well, I mean for for that, so you yeah, guys can see it in action. Yes, yes. that's right. Yeah. Keep watching. No, I was gonna say, get on. We'll, we'll get on with the cooking. Yeah, get on with the cooking now. Yeah, no, well, that's what we're gonna do. Right? <laughs> okay, so here we have the ingredients for it. Uh, we have these Lucky Boat noodles. We sell them on our web store. We sell pretty much all of these ingredients, not the fresh stuff, but. Uh, the things that the takeaways would use on a web store, which is chinandchew.com, link is in the description below. So these come dry and then you have to rehydrate them. So one block like that will end up looking like this. And that would be one portion. It's probably a bit bigger than one portion, but that's exactly how you have to have it. And you don't want your noodles to be too overdone, otherwise they'll be like slugs. Yeah. Weren't they? Yeah, that's right. So you put them in for about six to seven minutes, drain them, then you rinse them in cold water instantly because you don't want them to overcook and that washes off a lot of the starch. And then once they are um, drained, you let them sit for at least 20 minutes to get rid of that water. There is a nice tri trick that some people like to do. Um, they like to put some oil on their hands and then um, fiddle with fiddle, then mix, mix, it around. mix it around in with the noodles and that will keep them separated. But in my opinion, letting them drain gives a better chow mein, but each to their own, really. Whichever you like to do. Exactly. No. Cooking is subjective. There's no room for pretension here. Uh, we have five butter mushrooms that I've cut. You need a lot of mushrooms for this because they'll shrink and you want to get a lot of the mushroom flavor. Now, I know you guys know I hate mushrooms, but the flavor from a mushroom is Delicious. I won't, it's the texture. It just makes my teeth feel like they're gonna fall out. It makes me feel strange. We've got a good hand. Sounds like people grinding the teeth. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's horrible. Yeah. So this is a good handful of bean sprouts. Red chili for garnish. Optional. Completely optional. 
we have about a quarter of a white onion there. Spring onions for garnish, you don't want to cook with those in this. We have a third teaspoon of MSG. We've got a quarter teaspoon of salt, a dessert spoon of light soy, two dessert spoons of dark soy. Normally I like my chow mein really dark, but because this is a mushroom chow mein, it's nicer if the noodles are a little bit lighter. About two uh, tablespoons of vegetable oil and some uh, garlic puree, which I will link below because we've got a video on showing you how to do that. So yeah, that will be in the description below. Okay, so we'll figure out how to turn this thing on. This is the first time I've used this, or well, this induction rock anyway. Just gonna wipe down the... Right, so we're gonna let this wok heat up and we want it really hot before we put the oil in. It's yes. different from cooking on a non-stick. that like you can see this, there's like smiths coming off that now. Smoking. Oh, this is a quite a good induction cooker. Yeah, this is very powerful. So now it's hot, I'm gonna put the oil in. Look at that, that's exactly what you want. So in go your onions. They're gonna go in first. You know what I've just realised? I haven't got the mic, our mic things on. And then in go your mushrooms. These have to go in early. You want to put all of them in. You're going to have to speak really loudly because... I've got our one mic. I have got a lapel mic. Yeah. Now the reason you need quite a bit of oil is because those mushrooms will take up a lot of it. Yeah, they're very thirsty. They are thirsty. Yeah. Noodles first. You want to make it like a well. And this is really important, you let them sit. You let them sit. It doesn't matter if you're using a wok or a non-stick, you let them sit and that will give you the char or the wok A, as so many people like to um, call it now. This is really good. Um, so you can see there's a nice ah, char on it. Yeah. The char you get from the sit. What's next up? Now, then go your, your MSG and your MSG salt. salt. And then we're going to put your garlic in. You don't put that in the beginning. It's literally a quarter teaspoon of garlic there, and that goes in. You want that to get out. Oh. Now in go your bean sprouts. Your light, the dark soy, and your light soy. The dark is just for colour. Normally we put the bean sprouts in before the light and dark soy. Well, I just got it the wrong way around that time. <laughs> a lot of people say their noodles stick to the pan. That's probably because you haven't watched, your, either your wok isn't seasoned well enough, and that's easy to do. Uh, there's loads of YouTube videos out there telling you how to do that. If you want us to make a seasoning video of a, a wok, that's absolutely fine. We'll do that at some point. Your noodles are either overdone or you haven't washed off the starch enough. Yeah. Or you haven't let them um, sit. Yeah. Those are the four reasons why your noodles are sticking, otherwise they don't stick. And yeah, you need to turn it as well. Don't forget to turn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we're testing the chow mein now. I know what it's going to be like. <laughs> But um, the... Can they see us? Yeah. Do you want to make sure they see that? It's alright, I'll hold it. Oh, okay. I'm not going to have any mushrooms because I hate them. Mm. Mm. Tasty. It is just nice. Mm. Just amount of right. Just the right amount of garlic as well. Yeah. You don't want to... Um, Too much. Yeah, don't put it in early because it burns. I don't know what someone the other day commented on it and I was just like, look, you can do that if you want, but it's going to taste really bitter. This way you get like a really nice hum of garlic through the whole thing mm. without... It's not raw and it's not overcooked. It's... It's, it's called aroma. Yeah, but yeah, like an aroma. You can put as many mushrooms as you want in that as you like to be honest. We put five and there's quite a lot of mushrooms in there but I know look five is plenty yeah but a lot of people come into our takeaway and go can I have extra mushrooms and I'm like well then do you just not want mushrooms on their own <laughs> it's, you either love mushrooms or you hate them don't you yeah hate them I love the flavor hate the texture 
really good in it. That's good. Yeah. There we go. Uh, mushroom chow mein. We are going to be doing more street food this year. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. As well as, uh, we're not going to go ever go away from doing Chinese takeaway food. It's, it's what most of you like to watch. But we do want to start teaching you how to do the food that we're more a fay with. We're better at cooking the Malay Chinese food, if we're honest. Mm. <laughs> so that's what we want to show you guys. And it's like, like I said, we still have family members who still do have street food stores out there. We're not just two people who don't know what we're talking about. But people say we don't know what we're talking about. No. I'm talking about, there was a mushroom in there. Mm. Make my teeth feel weird. I was really enjoy it. No, I'm just talking for new people who don't know us. Oh. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Mum? Happy cooking, happy eating. Make sure. See you next time. What should they do? Pardon? You forgot to say the thing. Happy cooking, no. happy eating. Like. Like. A subscribe. Press the like button. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, there was three. You, you got subscribe. the three things, but you repeated one of them. So it's like, comment, comment and subscribe. subscribe. There we yeah. go. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Take care, guys. Bye. The, the, the garlic really lifts it up, doesn't it? Yeah.